They're basically saying, I want to do this because the number one reason that misinformation spreads through the community is through these tier lists. Because so many people make tier lists and look at tier lists as a way to get an idea of the game. And as much as they don't like tier lists in Risk of Rain 2 in general, because they are so situational, I at least can do this and try and give people some sort of an idea as to what someone with 4,000 plus hours in the game, how I see items and how I rank them generally. And it's gonna be very different to what the community thinks. I can tell you right now. <laughs> all right, now is that perfected aspect in F? Look, we don't, we don't need to break it all down right away. Oh, I'm already mad. I'm already annoyed. Uh, why am I doing this? I'm already annoyed. Okay, first things first. These are actually right. Funnily enough, these are right. Light flux, stone flux, dog shit. They're exactly right there. I don't give a shit about this. Wh how is white scrap and green scrap? How are they in F? I'm already mad. I'm already mad. These are, dude, scrap is B minimum. Like, scrappers make games. Printers make games. Like, A, honestly. Like, <laughs> all the scraps F? What is, it's too early, Dan. It's too early. It's too early. Like, B minimum. At least B minimum. Scrappers and printers are what make the game. Because again, time does not matter in Risk of Rain 2 if you are full looting efficiently. And if you, and the, a big argument comes in, people are like, oh, well, if you have bad items, then it sucks. It's not worth it. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Scrappers and printers bring you back 90% of the time. There's just always, there's always so many printers out there that you're bound to get one good one. And even not, you go to the bazaar, there's soup. You can use it on the soup. They're so good. Oh my god, this is already gonna make me mad. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. That's Menj. Stay in F. What is that? Which one's that one, chat? Which one's this? Is that? That's not perfected. Is that perfected? That's perfected? Ah! Oh, no! The item, the aspect that gives you full shield, a debuff, and gives you more speed? That's S. Easy S. Menj, stay right. Is that Menj? Is that Malachite? Don't care, both dog shit. You can go there as well. Malachite, Menj, F, don't care, both useless, don't like them at all. Whatever. Celestine, honestly, F as well. Pretty much dog shit. Never want it. Not that useful. It can be useful in very scarce situations, but it's dog shit. All right, Lost Sears Lens is fine in D, honestly. Lost Sears Lens has instances where it's okay, but like, honestly, D, I agree with that. Uh, Ruin is amazing. Like, that's at least a B. Gubo is fine. Ifritz is A, at least A. Like, that's such a good one. Which one of these is silence? I'm assuming this is silence between two strikes. A tier as well. Like, godly. Extra damage, half shield, amazing. All right? This, C. That's biting embrace, C tier. That's fine. Uh, Harpoon, D is fine. Benthic. Uh, put it in C. It's got a use. I don't like Bayos, but it can have a use as well. Zoea sucks. Molotov sucks. Duclius, F. Caffeinator, C. Ego, C. That's fine with me. Ego to C. Ego is strong. Ego is strong. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it is strong. Uh, egg, B. Pure mobility. Like, mobility in this game is king. Like, you need mobility. If you don't have a feather, that's a lifesaver. ICBM, C tier. Dude, it's B. It's A, actually. Take it back. I've got S exists. A. It's A tier. I know it's not useful all the time, okay? If it was, it's S, okay? Straight S. If it was useful all the time, straight S. It's not the A tier. It can be actually completely useless, but when it's good, it's fucking amazing. Hey, I just want to jump in real quick and say thanks for watching the video. It actually means a lot to me. And of course, if you like the content, then make sure to subscribe. It helps the channel out a bunch. Okay, love you, bye. Mwah. Especially with the most OP thing in the game, these in B tier. We'll get to that later, dude. We'll get to that later. Holy shit. Safer spaces. S. Literally S. One of the best, if not the best, void items in the game. This is wild. And this is why oh, the arguments. C tier. F. Take damage to heal. How about don't get hit? <laughs> How about don't get hit? I like that in C tier, actually. That's good to see. It's so rarely useful. And even when it does, it's a 50% boost of damage. Like, who cares? 50% total boost. Because you get if you've you got crit anyway, it only adds another 100 to that. So it goes from 100 base to 200 full crit to double crit. So that's 300. So it's only a 50% increase in damage anyway. It's not that good. Dole has a use. Watches. 
Watches, S tier. Just straight extra damage, amazing. If you're not picking this up because you get hit too much, then the problem is you're getting hit too much, so get more mobility. Watches, S tier. Uh, Jellyfant, Raymond Daniels. Ah, uh, B. Does not break watches. Scorpion, S. All right? Uh, a. I put Scorpion in A. Scorpion is amazing. It's S for fast shooting survivors. For survivors like, I don't know, Loda, Artie, not as good, still decent. Happy having an A, honestly. Steak, fucking D, I guess. A D, oh, wait, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> uh, D, dog shit, uh, dog shit, uh, normal pearl, C, I guess. Poison Flame, AOE is beautiful. Anything remotely AOE related is A tier. Like AOE with any survivor is fantastic. That's a D. Shuriken, A tier. I can hear someone be like, oh, but what are Mythic's phase four? Walk in a circle, you won't get hit. Radar scanner, D. -d 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 Ignition tank. Now, Artie, Artie, S tier, all right? Anybody else? Kind of B tier. If you have gas, A tier. So I'm gonna put it like in the middle there. Yeah, like it's very, very situational. Very situational. Needle tick, uh, a solid B. As it, as again, it depends on the survivor. That on Manda, multi, godly. Anybody else? Pretty useless. Not that consistent. It's a solid B, honestly. I'm gonna put bleed in the same place. Bleed and needle tick will always be together in my mind. Opal, S tier. Amazing item. Everybody needs that item. Huge blast shower, it's a B. Fucking squid polyp is exactly where it needs to be. Purity, it's got its uses. Base, uh, it's a B. Gun, A tier. Item, macros, chat. Guns, recyclers, credit cards. Amazing. Always be item, micro, dude. Credit card, A tier. Huge. Put a crown, whatever, that's fine. Lysate, again, Lysate on the right person. Bandit, Lysate, Bandit, S. Lysate Angie, S. Lysate Loda, B. Like Lysate Void Fiend, D. Lysate Multi, D. It's a solid mid item. Uh, again, items is B or whatever. Drone Man not being an S tier. Drone Man and C tier. Drone Man, there is no situation on any survivor. Any survivor. There's no situation. This is an S tier. There's none. It doesn't exist. Who made this list? This is the community list, which means that every tier list ever done, this is the average sum of every tier list. This is what the community thinks in general, which is wild. <laughs> uh, fucking, I don't care about Lunas that much, man, but I, I guess B maybe for this, for some survivors. Uh, C, I'll leave it in C, fuck it. This, S tier, a fantastic, Fantastic void item. Item macro. The things you can do to get more items and increase your chances of getting better items are always going to be up here. If space is up here, this is your gateway to spaces. Okay, where are we up to? Krunda, B, Tingsha, whatever. You can stay there. These. See, I don't mind the elixirs, but they're only good if you have watches. And the thing is, you don't need the elixir to keep the watches. They're good but they're only there to protect watches, but you don't need it for the watches. So I think it's fine in B tier. Um, this, I wanna say A tier, extra life and item macro, a very good item. Extra life in a permadeath run and item macro with this is fantastic. 10 is fine, beads, fucking, why are they in C tier? I'm gonna put it in F purely because I don't fucking care about Lunar Coins. Let's go in F, it's pointless. Uh, <laughs> D. C, whatever, that's fine. This is D tier, useless. Course Bloom, whatever. Void Band, F. Fucking F. An item that takes two of the best items in the game, F tier. Great F tier, dude. Get out of here, man. If Band was a standalone item, if it was a standalone item, A tier. If it was, if it was by itself, A tier. But it's not. It steals your Band. Some of the best damaging items in the game. Straight F. Dog shit. B tier, okay. I'm gonna be shocked at some of the items in here. Res disc and B tier is insane. This never hits. It's straight up D tier. Like, if you get an FMP build, honestly B then. But you're so rare, just straight D. It never hit, and the thing is, if you're killing things fast enough, for your res disc to proc, 
then you don't need res disc to a proc. You're killing things anyway. Uh, DML. I'll leave it there for ICBM, actually, just there. Key is A tier. Again, item macro with this, for example, but straight green or red items. As bad as how many reds are, that's amazing to have there. Leeching Seed, F. Those who don't know why this is bad, Leeching Seed is based off proc coefficient. So what your proc co is, Rex, for instance, it heals 0.5 health per hit. It's proc co dependent, which is nuts. Insane. Aegis, F. Straight dog shit. You never get enough healing to make it work, and the barrier disappears so quick, it's redundant anyway. Two, three brooches is better than Aegis. Pauldron, same thing as the fucking as res disc. When you're killing things fast enough, you don't need the extra buff. You're killing things fast enough. It's useless. Recycler, S. Every day of the week. Um, Rose Buckler, A. Damage reduction is amazing. Nurl in B is generous. C, honestly. Chrono in B is fair. Chrono is really good. Chrono Bubble is fantastic. I would honestly put it A. Chrono Bubble with Void Fiend and Rex, A tier. Because Rex slow and Void Fiend slow are different slows to Chrono slow. So Mythrix becomes a slug. It is a good item. B tier is not bad items. B tier is decent item. But uh, it's not that great all the time. Warhorn, straight dog shit. D tier because it has a use sometimes. Gauze Tome in B is fine. Great for getting money quicker. Thumb Grenade, just because not everyone benefits from it, I'm going to put it in C. Manda, Multi, Huntress, like fast shooting people. Huntress isn't that fast, but uh, it's, it's decent. But like Arty, Loader, Void Fiend, eh, don't really care that much. Fungus, D, suck my ass, <laughs> Angie Mains. You know what gets me, you know what drives me crazy with Bungus and like the whole like, Bungus, Angie, turrets never die. Do you know who places your turrets? You do. <laughs> you place your turrets. Why do you prioritize your turrets never dying and not you not dying? Prioritize yourself staying alive first and then worry about your turrets, okay? And I get like, but if you get like 30 of them, you can stand in the radius. How about you get one Wungus and then Opals, Repulsion Armor Plates. Safer spaces, movement speed, watches, AP rounds, gas. How about that? And you'll survive and then just put a new turret down. You put the turrets down. You have the control over them. Put more down. They don't need to live forever. You can have, they're not Captain Beacon. Um, this is fine in B. Good speed. Uh, fucking F. Uh, D. We'll go D. It's not terrible early on. That's fine there. Shape glass is S tier. Like just straight up S tier. Double multiplicative damage on top of everything else is insane. It's fucking insane. Nukahana, F. Bandolier, C. Creon, B is fine. That's fine in B. That's fine in B too. Microbots are an A tier. If I've ever seen it. Very good item. Obviously very rare, but very good. Gopus, C tier. Cube is B. <laughs> Tonic, S tier. A godly item. Godly item. Shazza. Uh, sorry, Shaz. You're going down to C. As much as I love you. Gloop. I put in D. Fantastic with NG. Terrible on everybody else. Had the long cooldown makes it so bad. She's got to go down there. Mockers. A tier. A tier. Not the best on everybody, but just consistent speed is good. Uh, I'll put you down in D, Warbanner. Empathy Cause. Do, do Empathy Cause go A tier is a question, actually. Because by themselves, B, with a drone man, they're F. I think they actually do go A, actually. Because they are good by themselves. But with the chance of this, I think A. I think A is fine there. Delth Kit, dog shit, straight trash. Get out of it. Wake of Vultures, boo. Uh, what would it be? Wake of Vultures has a use. The big issue with Wake of Vultures, and this is an Eclipse 5 and up only thing, but if you pick up an overloading, if you kill an overloading or perfected aspect, you will get their shield. And the way it works, when that shield goes away, you're meant to heal back that health straight away. But in E5, healing's hard. So if you get a, a overloading aspect for a bit, and then it goes away, you lose a quarter of your health. If you have a perfected, you lose half your health. It's a terrible item. It's cool in Monsoon and stuff, but it's just not that cool. Transdescence is straight S tier. People are gonna see a pattern here with shield. Shield is amazing. Same as Saber Spaces, do not get hit. Any of that stuff is just a straight trend. Happiest Mask, D. Now, Plimp, S tier. Plimp and Plute, I think it has to be S tier. Like there's no survivor I'm not stoked to see them on. It's just straight 40% extra damage all the time, consistently. Again, and if this is in synergy with this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, it's always up. It's always up. It is never not up. And this combo is just amazing. Miss Focus Convergence, did I? Oh yeah, Focus Convergence is a fucking C. I don't care about Focus Convergence. Who cares? Uh, this, 
It has a good use with Baos, the synergy there, and it's not bad healing, so it's whatever. BG, I'm sorry, BG. As much as I love you, you're a C. FMP is in Digs, it so rarely kicks off. It so rarely kicks off. Wungus is straight A, fantastic healing, amazing healing, love that. Alrighty, Predatory Instincts, B tier, sorry. It's good when you have crit, if you don't, it's useless. And even if you do have crit, you'll load up Arty again, like, it's useless. Fuel Cell, I do love Fuel Cell. Given how strong equipments are, I think I want to leave it there. I think I'll leave this here. Those, those equipments are just so consistently strong in this. I think I'll leave it right here, honestly. Uh, Tesla Coil. That's a hard one, dude. I don't think it's quite A. Tesla Coil early is fantastic. You reckon it's A tier? Yeah. Uh, Shustus. This is hard too. I think Shustus stays in A purely because it's great for Deathmark builds, which are so rare to get going. Where is Deathmark, by the way? I haven't seen it yet. Is it up here? No. It's in A. <laughs> I'm going to leave this in A. On slow survivors, C. On fast survivors, A. With a Deathmark build, S. That's the thing, right? It's so situational. This is why tier lists suck. <laughs> like, this is so situational. Like, loader. I don't want this. I don't want this. Manda. Every day I want it. Every single day. Scorpion. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, having these two, these are not a direct comparison. That's the thing. Like, these two, yeah, I, no, I think that the existence of Scorpion being in here as a situational thing, I think it has to move this down here, actually. This is a good shout, actually. Scorpion just shits on Shusters. Uh, Bird, down there. Guillotine. <laughs> Roach. C. Still better than Aegis. Backup mag. B, depends on the survivor. Afterburner, again, B. Way, way, way to survivor dependent. Crowbar is B as well, again. Bandit, A tier. Loader, A tier. Manda, fucking D tier. It's the absolute middle of the line. Mold Perforator, I'll leave that an A. Uh, this is A tier because it misses half the time. More lives is good. You don't need extra healing. Get out of here. This, S tier. <laughs> The only reason this isn't S because it misses a lot. This is S because it hits every time. Alien head, incredibly situational. Like it is just an item that's okay on anybody. Sticky bombs and A's, fine. Med kit, straight D tier. Absolute garbage. Getting hit to heal is dumb. Raps. I think raps do belong in A as well, honestly. Guess this tier list is different when you're not playing Eclipse, right? No, it's not. A lot of people are going to say that. And that's going to be a really common thing. A lot of people are going to say that this is only a tier list in Eclipse. It's not. If this is a tier list in Eclipse, then it's a tier list for every easier difficulty as well. There's no there's no reason to ever take things you would do in Eclipse and not do them in Monsoon, Rainstorm, or Drizzle. You can get away with a lot more shit in Drizzle, Rainstorm, or Monsoon. But if this, if it works, if these are the best items for the hardest difficulty, then these are the best items for the lowest difficulty. Some, there's like Bungus is gonna be better for fucking Drizzle or Brainstorm or Monsoon, whatever, whatever. But do you need it? No, you don't. You can survive and do more damage more consistently with these items. Am I looking at it with an Eclipse mindset? Of course, but these still holds true for anything. Uh, Raps A, this is A, Gesture is A, fantastic item. Lug A, Mern, sorry, Ruddy, B. Mern's B. Deathmark, straight C. When it's good, it's godly, but it so rarely ever comes into effect. Crystal, eh, B, depends. Nah, nah, ooh. Whoops, wrong one. I really like Fristal these days, man. And everybody. I really like Fristal and everybody these days. There's no one I want to get rid of it with. It's definitely Railgunner. It's just, once you understand that this game is based off of multiplicative damage, the Focus Crystal is such an easy choice to keep. Like, it's just another multiplier when you're close. And it's a decent range. Even Huntress, man, like, it's, you're, you can get in range so often. It's amazing on Manda, obviously, godly on like, Loader. I think it's just B, maybe. I think it's maybe just, like, these are still good items, but, like, it's just B. Fusion. I really rate Infusion these days. Just extra health, and it multiplies with PSGs, which are amazing, wherever the fuck they are. Where are the PSGs? I don't know where the PSGs are. Up here. Infusion and PSG work really well together. Uh, you see, headset is never, ever, 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 ever not S tier. No forward damage, the highest damage item in the game. Incredible survivability. Uh, little D, A tier, godly item. Razor wire, D, taking damage to deal damage is terrible. 
it's only okay with like ng and that's it uh brainstalk c it's really good on some survivors but it's just so often not useful at all yeah that's regular pearl yeah a radiant pearl is have i missed a radiant pearl oh that's whoopsies oh it's this one yeah yeah, yeah. my bad i had it too low a radiant pearl i haven't got to that yet that's s i'll just get that right now radiant pearl s tier the straight up s tier <laughs> it's very good item very good item uh and this b it's with uh, FMP build, S tier. With missiles capacitor, A. With fucking egg, who cares? Like, it's very mid. Ruin is honestly A tier. Ruin's so good. It is so good. Okay, the S tier. All right, crit. Now, these are hard choices. S tier looks about right. S tier does not look right to me. <laughs> if I could have a level between A and S, that's where I put this. If I could have something between A and S, that's where this goes. It's more in this rank than this rank. Bottom of S? Yeah, I guess so. Just know it's barely an S. Cause it's, like I said, it's universal. Everyone wants crit and I never scrap it. ATG is S, ukulele is B tier. So A tier, sorry. I think all AOE is gonna be A tier, essentially, all AOE. Tougher times, honestly B tier. Not S, just not A. I think it's a fine in B. I'm not gonna scrap it. I very rarely print them. I think it's fine. S tier, yes, yes, yes. This is controversial. A tier. I know everyone loves Clover. Yeah, this is very similar to Crit. The thing is, if I were, if I rather one Clover or one Crit, I'm gonna say one Clover. But because this is common, you see more of them, this is why it's up here. You're more likely to get them for the fantastic. This, if you don't have any proc items, it sucks. The same reason as this. If you don't have any missiles, this sucks. It's purely just there for looks. This, same thing, dude. If you don't have proc items, it's just dog shit. This can turn a god run into like, this can turn a, sorry, this can turn a good run into a god run. But without, without any proc item, without this, without this, without this, without this, it's useless. It re-rolls your 1% crit to a 2% crit. whoop de fucking do Again, if there, was a, if there was a level between these two, I'll put it there, but it's not. Syringe. BT. Amazing on some survivors, dog shit on some others. Bleed. Uh, B as well. How is bleed S tier? Like, I get it. Manda's great with bleed. <laughs> I get it. I understand. But you're telling me bleed is S on everybody? That's wild. Dude, these always belong together. They're such good items on the right survivors, dude. People don't play loader? Yeah, I guess. Again, all AoE is honestly um, A tier. AoE is fantastic. Bree Behemoth. Easy S. I'm never, <laughs> sorry. Unless I have one, I'm never sad to see it. I always want this. Lean, I think it's A tier as well. It's too situational. If you don't have a crit, it's not that good. I feel like it's in that middle ground again, but I think it's in the middle ground again. It gives you the 5% crit with it. And like the AOE, really good, but like, all right, gas, A tier. I think this is A tier as well. It's amazing. Again, situational. It's just so situational. Kaggers, fucking... B, that'll roll up some fucking feathers, dude. Honestly. A good item in the right build, but not that consistent. Scythe, C. I don't care about the 5% crit, and I don't care about the healing. This in S tier? Like, it's, that's an A. That's an A. Like, it's good. It's clearly good. I think AP rounds are A tier. Like, if they were all the time, like, watches are clearly S, but, like, the only... But like Mythrix is the biggest challenge. Like I always love AP rounds, but I think it's solid A is fine. I think that's it. I think we can lock this in. Speed and mobility is always at the top here. Always at the top here. Behemoths, headsets, drone man. Yeah. Plimp, plute, safer spaces, the best three. These these are the three items you always, the four items, sorry, you always want to see from your void potentials. The cycler is godly. Obviously this stuff is just insane. The churf, really fucking good. The perfected was F. How is Perfected Aspect F? That is insane. If anyone takes anything from this tier list, when I if it if I turn into a video, if anybody gets anything from this tier list, please let it be. Shield is amazing. Shield is so strong. What reds are below red scrap? Dude, all scrap was in F tier, by the way. All scrap was in F tier. Just to really let that sink in. It's crazy, dude. Absolutely wild. The thing is, releasing this, I'm gonna get yelled at. People are going to disagree with me. People are going to call me a stupid idiot moron. That's fine. I'm used to it. <laughs> I'm used to people on the internet calling me stupid idiot moron. This is par for the course. I'm wondering how much they call me a stupid idiot moron with this one. So many of the equipments are in B, I just realized. So many of them are in B. The YouTube comments? The YouTube comments are going to be crazy, dude. I do want to make this a video because I do... 
again, the main reason I want to do stuff like this is because I personally think, I genuinely believe that one of the biggest, the biggest spreaders of misinformation are terrible tier lists. And as much as I don't like tier lists, because they're incredibly subjective and they change for every survivor in every situation. If I can get something like, the, like this out there that has like a general basis, at least that people can work off, then hopefully that can help remedy some of that. But maybe I'm just coping. The biggest spread of misinformation will always be that one random guy that played Monsoon twice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the loudest guy on Reddit, dude. I beat, I beat Monsoon once, so uh... <laughs> very true, actually, very true. I think that looks okay to me, Chet.